hello everybody so welcome to a new challenge and this challenge is called dna pairing pairs of dna strands consist of nucleus okay this is some boring stuff for example for the input gcg uh, return this 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 so when we input this we should return an array of this so this is called dna pairing okay base pairs are represented by characters at and cg which form building blocks of the dna and this is by far the most easiest problem I have come across to in intermediate algorithm scripting which is um, this much and I have not solved it yet okay I'll solve it I'll solve it in one go that's what I'm trying to do right now by making this video in real time so let's get started let okay let us define all the letters first okay you know this um, compiler doesn't quite know about alphabets we need to define them so let's just define them and let letter so okay I defined everything I guess it is easy okay now we need a loop okay majority of cases we just need a loop because we are dealing with tons of things and loops just make it easy now if try to understand the code that if it is equal to letter z then we are going to do one thing and that is to push okay array okay so we will push it here we can't define it like this i guess array jinx okay, jinx. okay let's just push into it um array okay array jinx dot push should we push we should push letter Z and letter C because when we have when we will have Z then we'll have G and C but you know when I push it like this it will not give me in a form that is just we expect that we expect like when we console it right now gives us like this but we need an array so there is a very simple solution for this my tons of reading empty and docs has come finally has paid me because i'm going to do this problem very easily i've spent a lot of time Um, uh, focusing on code and voice overing at the same time is hard you know <laughs> you know I've been stuck a lot on previous problem and I guess that has paid me off a little that I'm smoothing off this problem I don't know whether will this will work or not this is my first attempt actually I'm quite proud of it even if this does not work I will upload this video because you know pride pride of a man letter P e and letters um, P as a pair of E okay okay e. um, yeah now we'll have another I know this code will work in one attempt I'm quite happy about it array jinx plus and letter x as letter t did I miss something no I didn't miss something I guess I was going to miss this okay we need to return array jinx and okay 
will check every condition okay because I want to run this in once if I have any error okay academy um, I don't know why it's not copying I hate it when things happen this uh, okay this console dot log it so that you get to see the, its output before running the console console cz I guess we are okay to go oh yeah now let me explain this code in brief that uh, we declare letter a letter z letter c letter d it is to be declared and we declare an array as soon as you see the result is in array we must declare an array that is something like compulsory okay so we iterate through every array okay we iterate through every array str0 str1 str0 str1 str2 str3 str4 we iterate over every array and if the array is equal to letter z then let's just push letter z and letter c into a bracket and it's just simple like that return the array zinx return it to here and when we are here it just returns the function it's quite simple you know and for more videos do subscribe